what's up guys uh, welcome back uh welcome back to that crazy video i'm finally back i'm finally 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 back well uh it's a boy the adam's link and uh good morning good afternoon good evening depending on where you guys are watching this video from i know you guys have been really really helpful and they're supportive you know for the past few days now i've not been able to show my face i'm back to my comfort zone i'm back to my original place so Rest assured, any video that I will be making must definitely show my face. So, how far now? You know, day now. Did you miss my face? Let me know, guys. And if you don't, also let me know and tell me the reason why you don't miss my face. Because if you watch me, if you watch me all the time, you most definitely gonna miss my face. Well, it's a boy guy. I'm slink like I've said before, and. uh I'm gonna talk about some few things, and I think one of all those few things is uh, to all the guys out there, just to state some reasons why you need to fear women. Why you need to fear women. You remember Lele Doce who lost uh, his son? May that boy's life continue to rest in paradise. Well, Jolly Doce decided to talk about it, and now uh, which we already discussed then. He wrote something about his son who passed away. Praise this boy and uh, just wish him well in the year after. He was, he, he was 16 years old. Just 16 years old, and this guy died. Well, his second wife, Judy Austin, decided, okay, since my husband, has already wish has already decided to address the death of this boy i think it's about time i also address the issue as well since a husband has addressed it decide to come outside to talk about it it's about time that i talk about it as well that's exactly what judy said uh judy decided to do and she wrote she said god knows best Rest in heaven with God, great son, can be your Edoche. She decided to write that, and of course, you saw a lot of fans blasting her. Who are you to be writing a tribute message to that boy? You came into the family and destroyed the peaceful home that boy had. And now you think you can just write something about the boy? And let's be completely honest. If she didn't write something about it you guys will still complain you guys will say oh because you guys already say some of some of you guys or, or already insinuated that he, she has hands in that boy's death and again like i've said that boy i, I believe that boy never interacted with jude judy why why he was alive i believe they never one day talk before well, according to another actress, Georgia, Georgina, she said, a son that you wrecked his parents' home and caused untold emotional damage to. Why is this brat which so full of ish? It's like they are they have never given this undesirable element of lesson of our life only a winch will dare this level of stupidity if she had decided to keep quiet you will still talk if she talk you guys will still talk so i i think she actually did the right thing she is the second wife of yone Duchi. And your Doce have not he has not come out to say, Oh, my second wife was the one that ended my son's life. So she has every right to send out tribute to that boy. My deepest condolences to me, the first wife of your your Doce. It's only God that knows what she might be going through now. My deepest condolences because she is the victim here. Me and that boy that lost his life, they are the victim. We have so much to talk about, guys. Let's discuss other stuff like a story from a man. He said, a man 
struggled and sent his wife and two kids to Liverpool in UK for a better life. And conducive environment only for the wife to start having an affair with another man and even got pregnant for the man. The husband in Nigeria didn't know until the woman gave birth. It was the shock of the news that killed the man. Things are happening. Fear women. Fear women. The same way women are saying, oh, men are scum, men are cheaters. Let me hear you women now. How are you going to react to this kind of uh, story? Her husband struggled for a wife and his two kids to travel to Liverpool in a very nice environment, struggling, struggling in Nigeria to give them a better life. The woman had an affair with another man in that place. She knew able to say me she used a CD or condom or she knew able to talk her. She did knock Roberto. She did knock Roberto Carlos. She got pregnant. Even their mind still keep the pregnancy. In nine months she gave birth. If not my mama, child, I go use that thing one time, eh? Until the until the until our last day. And we always accuse her that you killed my father. You killed my father all because of this boy's father. I will never forgive my mom. I will never ever ever this In fact, eh, I will never want it to do it ah, again. Because she robbed me of a father. If I'm is uh if I'm as uh, if I'm uh if I am one of her child, I will tell her you robbed me of my father. My father took me here. You never brought me to live up. My father was the one that paid for me to be here. He robbed me of the ability to for ability for my father to witness me grow. So this one is coming from another girl who gave an advice to all the guys here listening. She said, I think if you want to be with a lady, you should go for a lady who is working. And not those ones that hide under the guise of online perfume vendors, vendors, hair vendors, coaches vendors, clothes vendors, and the likes. Those ones have proven times without number that they are hoes. Go for a lady who goes to work every morning and closes in the evening. They will value every little money you give to them and thank you. Good morning. You know, majority of our girls now, if you ask them, what are you doing for a living? I said clothes online, I said perfume online. Do you have Instagram? Do you have WhatsApp? Someone will tell you, I don't have Instagram, I do it on face on Facebook. So they say oh, I do it on WhatsApp. Yes, they lie. You guys thought eh, that guys are the ones that actually have the have the brains to lie. Man, guess they lie. <laughs> Take it from me, guys. If you have not up to my age, or if you are up to my age, I have not seen a lot of girls being around with a lot of girls. Take it from me. Women of nowadays, they lie. Eh? extreme to the core they lie too much and check out this lady with this this woman underwent uh, several surgical procedures to look like kim kardashian kim kardashian but recently she lost her life over a massive heart attack Due to the complication of the numerous surgical operation she has undergone, according to Linda Ekeji, they say a Kim. According to Linda Ekeji, they said a Kim Kardashian look-alike, an erotic model, has died of cardiac arrest 
following a plastic surgery procedure. Christina, more known as exot more known in exotic steamy media as as 10G, died in the hospital last Thursday, April 20, while in recovering from plastic surgery. According to a report, the 34 years old often posted a modern pictures on her Instagram page where she has 618,000 followers. All these are because of follow. Everyone will do anything to gain that follow. Anyone. Most people, no, not everyone, guys. Most people do not give a damn about follow. They, they are not even on social media. But most people out there, because of the TikTok and everything, they will do anything to get that follow. Just to click, just to, just for strangers to click that like, 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 like. Well, that's another story. Now, check out this story of a airline host. Her name is Betty. Betty, according to Africa Fact Zone, they said, airline host Betty Agenta Charles was lured into starving herself to death by a Kenyan pastor, Paul Mackenzie, to meet Jesus Christ. She sold her land for 51000 and gave him the money. She came back home after her sons died while fasting with her parents, who are also members. So let me tell you a story. This woman is a hot cake. You know now, hairline olds, you see them, they are very well tidy, they are likable, they smile, they speak well. You know, you just want to wish that you have a girlfriend, a hairline olds as a girlfriend. This woman had it hard, even working with one of the biggest airlines in the world, Qatar, in Qatar. She has it all. Her son died in Kenya because she, that's, her son was forced to fast. Her son was forced to fast by a pastor called Paul. They say fast, don't chop anything for Two months. Don't eat anything. Don't drink water. Fast for God. If you want to see Jesus Christ, fast. And the son died. The woman said, why? The woman that came back home to say, why? Just bury her son. She meant her mom and dad also fasting as well. So they also told her, I don't know how they brainwashed her, that Jesus Christ is coming, that she will meet Jesus Christ. She sold her lands. Sold her property, sold her everything, gave it to the church, and she started fasting until she lost her life. About 80 people lost their life during that fasting by this pastor, Paul, and his wife. How is it that they are still very fresh, this pastor and his wife? How is it that they are still very fresh and, don't, and never fasted a day, but they ask other people to fast? When you never get sense, all those religious muggers, when are you going to have sense? The book is there. God will not over, overlook your, your sins because the books are there. Go and read it. If someone tells you it's this, go to the book and check it well. Abba. Well, thank you so much, the boy again, Adam Sling. I am back fully, and uh, I'm sorry I've not posted this since. So this is just uh, a welcome back video. Have a wonderful day. Stay blessed.